Welcome back to 1978 as we continue our look at the Star Wars toy line by Kenner. Last time we took a look at the Tatooine Scavengers, the Jawas, and the droid R5-D4. This time we're leaving the sands of Tatooine and headed to the cold halls of the Death Star to check out the Death Squad Commander, here on Creed's Collection. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. Today we're taking a look at the Death Squad Commander from the 1978 Star Wars toy line by Kenner. Death Squad Commanders lead squads of Death Star Troopers. They were all chosen by Grand Moff Tarkin from the best of the Imperial Navy troops to be placed upon the Death Star. They are multi-talented individuals who fulfill a wide variety of roles, including combat and non-combat positions aboard the Deadly Battle Station. What should have been a prestigious assignment became a death sentence, as soon Luke Skywalker would destroy the Death Star and reduce them all to space dust. And now that we know a bit more about Death Squad Commanders, let's take a closer look. When I was a kid, I always thought this guy was called Death Star Trooper. I had no idea he was Death Squad Commander. And we'll talk more about his name after we take a better look at his details. One of the most unique things about this guy is his helmet with the four circles here on the front. No other figure in the line wears a helmet like this, so it is unique to him. And even though it's kind of strange looking, it works. Mostly because it reminds me of a lame version of Darth Vader's helmet. It still goes with the outfit though, and overall, I like it. Here on his chest, you can see his Imperial rank insignia, and then his belt of course looks really cool. And if you notice here, there's a seam coming down and across, and that represents the coat that he's wearing. It almost looks like he's wearing a jumpsuit, but those seams do represent his coat or jacket. His gloves look nice and glossy, and he's got a little silver thing here that reminds me of a wristwatch, but it is on both sides. His right hand has been molded to hold his included pistol, but his left hand unfortunately cannot. Like his gloves, his boots are also glossy black, and whoever molded this figure did a fantastic job on the creases and folds in the pants. They look really good. Here on the back side of the figure, not too much going on, but more creases and folds in the clothing, which add to the realism. Now we're going to take a look at the Death Squad Commander's articulation. Here at the hip, he does have a 90 degree bend up, and the leg will go back a little bit, but not too much. Here at the shoulder, there's also a bend that can go up all the way around full 360 if you like. The head can turn left and right. And that is it. That covers all five points of articulation for the Death Squad Commander. The Death Squad Commander's one included accessory is this laser blaster, which looks pretty much the same on both sides, except for this small piece that protrudes right here. This was the gun they gave to the Stormtroopers and Boba Fett, so it got reused a lot. And as you can see, the Death Squad Commander can hold it no problem. It fits in his hand perfectly. The copyright information for the Death Squad Trooper is on the back of his left leg. General Mills Fun Group Incorporated, that was the parent company of Kenner, Hong Kong, 1977. Before we move forward, I want to point out that in the Empire Strikes Back line, the Death Squad Commander was re-released as a Star Destroyer Commander. No other figures ever got renamed, so I have a feeling that Death Squad Commander might have upset some parents. Wait, wait, wait. Now let me get this straight, Creed. Are you telling me that my name was so hardcore that they had to change it? Yeah, man. Apparently, Death Squad Commander is a bit much. Death Squad Commander! I am a Death Squad Commander! <laughs> Not anymore. Now you're a Star Destroyer Commander. Well, that's not nearly as threatening, is it? Nope, Death Squad Commander is way cooler. And now for our He-Man size comparison. Obviously, He-Man is much taller than the three and three quarter inch Death Squad Commander. But I still loved crossing over Masters of the Universe with Star Wars and G.I. Joe, and I would just imagine that the Eternians were giants. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy retrospective for the Death Squad Commander from the 1978 Star Wars toy line by Kenner. The Fwoosh said that this action figure got no respect and he was the toy that nobody wanted to play with. But I'm gonna have to disagree. I guess I was a weird kid because I thought the Death Squad Commander was awesome. 
I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it, and it would help my channel grow. I do a retrospective on a toy from my vintage collection every Wednesday. So I hope to see you next week and every week after, here on Creed's Collection.